This month we return to Scotland, to an area famed for being the ancestral home of the author Ian Fleming, creator of James Bond, and tread in the footsteps of Daniel Craig in the Bond film Skyfall. In the second part of this two-part film, members of County Deer Stalking's official members club, the Capriolas Club, travelled from London to the iconic Glen Etive via the Caledonian sleeper train. Red deer stalking forms a crucial part of the preservation and land management of this iconic and beautiful area of Scotland. Where head stalker Colin and Jason Doyle from the shooting show are guiding members onto red hunt. On the third day of the Capriolas Club's trip to the Highlands, club member Jim is partnered up with Jason Doyle. I've just stuck my head around this little knob and this group of, just saw them for a split second, maybe 15, 20 deer. They're about 300 yards at the moment. We might have to drop into the river. The river might offer some cover, but I just want to get a good view of what's there and see how far away the closest ones are. This part of the Highlands is famed for its dramatic scenery and its impressive Monroes. Not to mention it's changeable weather. However, after a few hours traversing the hillside, Jim is soon onto a pair of hinds, which he manages to dispatch using his Blaser R8 in 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Mines are loaded into the stag box and then they're off to the larder. Day four and there's a welcome change in the weather and clear blue skies for the final day of stalking. Accompanying Jason today is club member James Schneider and they're in for a tough vertical climb to get above a group of hinds. With energy levels depleted from the ascent, James scrambles into position to take a shot. Agonisingly, the 150 grain round from the 30 cal slams into the peat just over the deer's shoulder. But James does well to adjust his aim and reposition to make a solid second shot on a follower. But there's work to be done. And in fair weather, and having made the ascent to high ground, both James and Jason are eager to monopolise on their hard-won position.
More reds appear, but as the deer skyline, frustratingly, there's no safe shot available. Stalker and Capriolus member wait in hope of a second opportunity. At first it appears that no such chance will materialise. That was a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have the one, I think yeah. that went down, so. Yeah, he, he, he didn't get, he, I think it's just when he was lifting his head with blood coming out of his nose, yeah. probably, probably lungs or liver. Yeah, I couldn't, I was a uh, freehand on that on yeah. the angle and I, I, I tried to squeeze off on that first doe and I just, I just couldn't get it. Uh, so. yeah, the angle was pretty steep as well, your bullet's going to be high there. Yeah, but, uh, I felt like a, a decent shot on the second one. Hold on. Man, they were tucked in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. no. no, I think they don't. Mm -hmm. Until minutes yeah, later, a second chance presents itself. and an additional hind is cleanly shot. It's been a thrilling climax to the final day stalking and the deer are taken back to the larder whilst club guests retire to the estate lodge for the evening meal. County Deer Stalking is the UK's leading online magazine for deer stalkers and a leading supplier of deer stalking outings. Growing from a demand amongst its clients, the Capriolis Club was formed in April 2015 as an exclusive members club for deer stalkers and hunters of large game.
The Capriolas Club welcomes both beginners and experienced hunters and is open to all hunters who are dedicated and passionate about safe and sustainable hunting. Members enjoy complimentary stalk days and range days, networking events, assistance with FAC applications, special offers and exclusive trips around the UK and worldwide. If you're interested in county deer stalking then visit www.countydeerstalking.co.uk or alternatively to find out more about the Capriolas Club then visit www.countydeerstalking.co.uk capriolasclub.co.uk or telephone 0208 239 7311 to find out more about this thriving and friendly club. It's been a superb and memorable club trip to this breathtaking part of Scotland. And our thanks go to the Dalness Estate and stalkers Colin and Jason for their assistance in making this film.